colonisation was a violent, genocidal process. Um, but that doesn't negate the fact that an agreement was made looking towards the future. The treaty itself was capable of achieving it, I think, but it really required people to adhere to it. But right from the start, you know, the, the, the caveat that they could, they could only acquire land through the Crown's uh, land agency, so there was, there was the, the caveat on, on land purchases. Within five years, that was scrubbed. So, no, no, you can, you can proceed, and if you can persuade that Murray to give you his land and sell you his land, go ahead. There has been this, this long time where there has been this disconnection from the land, their cultural starting point. The frame of economic thinking is entirely different from the Western capitalist form that we use today. Everything today that we hear and see in the newspapers is this expectation that Māori want this from the treaty. But just a minute, <laughs> uh, we perhaps need to remind people that Māori have always fulfilled their obligations to the treaty. It's the other treaty partner that needs to come up to scratch. Engari, ko te mea e taunaki ana i te noho a te Māori ko te whakapapatera. Ko i nāho ki te <coughs> tereketanga ki au. Ko te, te whakapapa e taunaki ana i te noho a te Māori, ko te treaty o Waitangi e taunaki ana i te noho a te Pākehā. It's almost a product of colonization that we have seen in other parts of the world as well, where the native population gets marginalized. Um, relative to a lot of other places, having the Treaty of Waitangi, having uh, a lot more of the integration, a lot more of the urbanization amongst Maori compared to other indigenous populations, um, Maori generally do better than other parts of the world, but still not good enough. I actually put more faith in the ability of people in the end to talk with each other because many Māori and Pākehā have formed warm and intimate relationships at a personal level and it's from those that you might eventually get the conversations which will change that wider systemic constitutional framework.